Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Gargoyles Quest 2 for the NES. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, anyways, off footage, I picked up a hell of a lot of pots. I mean, lots of vials. And like 9 lives. That's the most lives you can carry, unfortunately. So with that in mind, let's head northwest to the Cave of Gaza. No, not the same Gaza around Israel, you know. The normal kind of Gaza. If by normal you mean inhabited by monsters and whatnot, but whatever. It's almost the same thing. Wait, it's portrayed in the news these days. But at least there's plenty of vials you can get here. Like there's four pots of vials, and each one has six vials each. So that amounts to like 24, which is pretty handy. That'll come in handy when you run short on lives. The only reason we're here to see Hecat, which is in this house over here. There she is. Oh! You have the night drop in your hands! Now I can make the candle of darkness with it! Wait for a while. Okay. Use this candle of darkness at the center of this room. Oh, you mean this center? Okay. Firebrand used Candle of Darkness. The whole place was blacked out. It was the black light that sealed King Bar's magic. It's the King of Destruction's army. Only the Gremlin Stick can dispel the King of Destruction's evil magic. Use the Gremlin Stick before King Bar and his magic will be released. The Gremlin Stick is in the ruins which lie deep within the desert Sitem. Okay, so I gotta talk to her again to get something else. Go to Desert Sitem now! These wings will enable you to fly over Gaza Valley. Firebrand attained the wings of a fallen angel. Sweet. Good luck. I'm guessing the wings of Lucifer can kind of like that, but who knows, there might be other fallen angels other than just Lucifer. I could be wrong. I mean, if you had to work for God, you'd want to descend too, right? No, wait, that don't sound right at all. There's another vial lying around somewhere, I believe. But where is it? It's not like I have to get it. Oh, there it is. But I'll get it just in case, because chances are I may not be back here again. But I more likely will. Is this the right way? No. I want to get that vial first. Before we move on. You guys don't mind, do you? Not like you have a choice. Okay, I could have gotten it earlier. Whatever. I mean, it's not like I got a video limit. Let's just go get that vial and then we head over to the desert. Alright, let's go. I don't see why I can't walk on that square, I mean, really, now. Do I really need that much unwalkable area? It makes this place look narrower than it really is. Like, you'd think this would be, like, uh, two blocks, but it's only one. Why is that? I mean, it's not like I'm going to be falling off or anything. Oh, well... Oh wait, I'm supposed to go this way. Ah, here we go. This is the way to the exit. Finally! <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, this is where I need to go. Oh! You have the wings of a fallen angel! With those wings, you may be able to fly over Gaza Valley. Go to Desert Sidem, Firebrand. Okay. Okay, this part can be a bit of a bitch if you don't know what to do. Basically what I like to do is hang on over here, and when you jump, do not hit the wings until you start descending. Like right here, for instance. That was close. So I'm going to take the hit on purpose, because it's better to take a hit than to take a death. Because remember, the fire is instant kill. And watch out for these platforms, because they sink as soon as you land on them. This one is safe, because it looks a little bit thicker. So tread very cautiously. Lest you want to die. 
And that was close. Alright, we're done. And now we are finally in the desert. Lots of vials here, too. How many do I have in total? Oh, I got 78 vials. That's, that's pretty perfect. It'll make for a lot of extra lives once I start losing them. So I got 12 in this desert alone. Alright, now we're in the desert ruins. Okay, we gotta tread down very cautiously. And as far as these enemies go, you cannot attack them until they start releasing ghosts. That's when their pods open. So as far as I'm concerned, you're better off ignoring them. I'll go over this way for a shortcut. Okay, this one I can get, no problem. Okay, this is a little bit of a shortcut. You only need to go here if you're low on health. Because there's a heart at the end. But since I got full health, I thought I might as well go anyway. Just to show you that you do have to be careful in this point. Because of this. If you stay on the sand, chances are you'll be hit by the skeleton fish. That's why you need to find high ground. There we go. There's a heart over there, but I don't need it, because I'm already at full health. And you'll see these little blue jars, too. Those are not vials. Those are actually jars for a genie's ghost. So you're better off ignoring them. <coughs> I don't know why, but I got a bit of phlegm in my throat. All because I had dinner recently. Ow. Uh oh now I take a hit. Just passed the heart earlier. Trust me, these ghost pods really piss you off if you stay there for too long. Because as soon as one ghost dies, they release another one immediately. Like, no delay or anything. Just do it right now. There we go. Hmm, no ghost? Don't worry, the jar itself won't hurt you. Okay, boss time now. It's the sand frog. Don't worry about these little pods over there because they cannot hurt you directly. They can, however, obstruct your jumping. He likes to jump around and do like a diving headbutt at you, but don't worry, you'll be fine. It's pretty easy to telegraph. Just watch out for the direction the sand is flowing too. Ow. Because the last thing you want to do is just like stand there idling and get hit by spikes. Got him! There we go. Now make sure you're paying attention because you still flow around in the sand and there are spikes on the walls. The last thing you want to do is actually die after beating the boss because you weren't paying attention. Oh, I got the gremlin stick and something very powerful is built up in my body. And it's not Hulkamania. Ooh, the magic tornado. If you remember Gargoyle's Quest 1, I can use that as a platform. It is an attack too, but it's very short range. You're better off with the magic buster. There we go. Like, don't rely on the magic tornado all the time. Because you can only shoot yourself higher and higher and higher to the point you go off the screen, and then you may not know where you're gonna go. You cannot shoot the magic tornado down, unfortunately. If you could, it would have been a lot easier. See, this is where it gets dangerous, because I do not know where the ground is. And as soon as I reach the edge of the screen to the left, I'll be confident that I can just go on. Up, oh, there we go. So yeah, just do this at your own peril. Preferably when you're at lower ground. That way you can do it more. Okay, that, with that said, let's head back to King Bar now that I got the Gremlin Stick. Whoops, I'm supposed to go even higher. There we go, that was the ladder I needed to go up, or steps, really. Normally I'd say fuck the stairs, but you can't jump when you're in this kind of mode. So I have to take the stairs. Moving on. 
Okay, I don't want to go to that town because that's not where I need to go. Where I need to go is over here. Oh, these platforms again. I mean, I got the magic tornado to help out. But... You don't want to use it too early. Otherwise, you may not know where you're going to land, and that was close. Okay. Let's see if this is a big mistake over here. So trust me, this level stretches on for a long time. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, got lucky there. Whew, that was close. Okay. Now let's head back to Gibeah. That's where King Bar is. It's around this area over here. Ah, there we go. I come to serve the king! No! No! Okay, go to tool and select stick. Firebrand use gremlin stick. Wow, I can move! My body works! Thank you, Firebrand! I'll give you my power. Ka! Now Firebrand can jump higher than before. Sweet. Let's break the barrier and go to the King's Palace. Firebrand, go to the King's Palace immediately. I thought we were gonna go to the King's Palace. You lazy ass. Anyways... To get to the King's Palace, you have to go to the west. Normally there'd be rocks blocking your way, but they're not there anymore. And there's a place to get some more vials and kick some ass if you wanted to. Oh, it doesn't look like the magic tornado works against these enemies. There we go. This is where you can get some more vials if you really feel like it. But it's only three. Anyways... Now we gotta go to this bridge. Uh, 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 the black light appeared and... It was heading for the king's palace! I'll leave it to you, Farbrand. Okay. I'm guessing you died. Okay! Get the magic tornado back on. Oh, great. Now you gotta deal with these... Whoa! Okay! Looks like I wasted too much time on that platform. Okay, to kill these plants over there, you actually had to hit them when that thing releases its head to shoot at you. Once it's in its pod, you cannot hurt it. See? But the tornado was still there, so that's why I killed it at that time. That's why the magic tornado is perfect, because it just lingers for a few seconds. Okay, is this a good idea? It better be. Oh, there was solid ground anyway. Okay, I see a vial over there, but can I reach it from here? There's a place for more vials, and... Ah, I can get the vials over this way. That's good. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop the video right here. Next part, we're gonna go into the King's Palace. See ya, everyone.